Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh1, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about Space Marine chapters. We're not going to be talking about first founding chapters just yet. We're going to go back to a chapter that we've created a video for already, the Minotaur chapter. If you guys don't know who the Minotaurs are, we've already created a part one, so please click on the link below or above, and that's going to take you to the 40 facts on the Minotaurs. You get to learn more about them. But what's cool about this chapter is that it's one of the Sound Alchemist's favorite Space Marine chapters. I know, he's a heretic. Um, if you watch the first part of the Minotaurs, you would understand why I don't like the Minotaurs. Um, they're not cool people. Uh, but what's interesting is that this is a campaign. I'm going to give you the lore behind a campaign, a famous campaign that the Minotaurs were engaged in. Um, it starts off by talking about uh, a space marine chapter that's going to go renegade. And of course, the Minotaurs are basically the attack dogs of the Imperium. Um, so we're going to get to see what happens to this uh, traitorous legion. But what's interesting is for all you... OMS fans out there, the two chapters, the two Space Marine chapters that the Sound Alchemists really love are a part of this um, lore. So if you're you're a true fan, uh, you're already going to know what Space Marine chapter is going to intervene at some point. Uh, if, if not, you already know this um, story to begin with. Um, but with that said, comment down below and let me know if you, if you knew what other space marine chapter was going to intervene before you even heard the lore and before i forget if you guys have any suggestions for any type of warhammer 40k topics that you guys would like us to create a video for please comment down below don't forget to put suggestion followed by whatever topic you guys want us to create the reason for that is it's easier for us to tally up all the different suggestions and requests so please comment down below let's get into 40 facts about the minotaurs the Night Reaper's path to corruption began when they were first condemned to crusade on the fringes of the Lana Rift region, following their actions during the abortive defense of Salvation Gamma, in the midst of the Constantinius Iron Clasm. Their crime had been negligence of duty, when confronted by a massive counterattack by a dozen Chaos Warbands, drawn from the Iron Clasm revolts, alongside an unknown number of degenerate mutant hordes, drawn from the edge worlds of the Sector. The Night Reapers had abandoned the Shrine World as both effectively indefensible and of negligible strategic worth. Rather than allowing the world to fall, the Night Reapers turned their own weapons on the Basilica cities and granted the pilgrims and refugees who had sought harbor there a merciful death. The rage of the Ecclesiarchy over this loss was boundless and ensured the Night Reapers' chapter censure of the High Lords of Terra. Torn away from their fortress monastery and chapter homeworld, and condemned to the perilous and thankless task of policing the outer reaches of the Lana Rift, the Night Reapers bore their punishment with grim obedience, but little contribution, or at least it appeared so. Within a decade, however, Imperial contact with the chapter, which had long carried a reputation for ruthless efficiency, independence, and technical aptitude, grew infrequent. Official contact ceased and such secondhand reports of them that could be gathered pointed towards steady increase of deviations from the Codex Astarte doctrines, tactics, and equipment in their ranks. In the year 989 of the 41st millennium, some six standard years after the last Imperial contact, the Night Reapers were declared excommunicate traitorous after forensic examination of the wreckage found in the Guthius belt provided incontroversial evidence of the chapter's direct responsibility for the destruction of the rogue trader fleet of Baron Strauss Yen. This followed a series of other raids and incidences where the involvement of the now renegade chapter had been suspected, but firm enough evidence could not be found to blame them while several Imperial expeditions to find the Night Reapers had disappeared without a trace. The first Space Marine chapter to respond to the call to find and punish the Night Reapers comprised a four-company strong force of the Avenging Sons chapter, who alongside Imperial Navy support, set out into the Rift in search of the Renegade chapter. Responding to a distress call from the Imperial outpost of Svargo Wells, the Night Reapers ambushed the Avenging Sons and forced them into a humiliating retreat, capturing one of the strike cruisers 
wrecking a second and badly mauling their would-be destroyers. The shame of the Avenging Sun's defeat, which they blamed on the Night Reaper's use of unknown warp flame weapons that bypassed their starship's void shields, moved the High Lords into direct action, and two full chapters of Space Marines, the Red Templars, and the Minotaurs, alongside considerable local support from the fleets and defense forces of the neighboring sectors, were directly tasked with the destruction of the Night Reapers. This was to be done before their threat could grow any further, lest they become a beacon to other renegades and malcontents in an already troubled region. The harrowing of the Night Reapers was to take a further three years of running battles to reach its fruitation, and it was a campaign in which, for the Imperial chapters, the Red Templars, experts as they were in search and destroy and pursuit operations, they were to be the Hounds and the Minotaurs, with their brute strength and aggression, would be the Hunter, ready to deal the death blow. The Night Reapers fought with savage resistance across a dozen star systems and in a score of ship-to-ship -ship battles as they were driven before the Imperials, bloodying their pursuers at every turn. It soon transpired that the Night Reapers, having thrown off the rule of the Emperor, had sought advantage in innovation. Their tech marines adapting Xeno's weapon technology originating from the cursed and near-extinct Helgramanite race to their own end and their masters striking packs with the servants of the Ark Enemy to further their cause. From this, the Night Reapers gained the strength to resist the Imperial Onslaught for a time, but their relentless foes eventually cornered the bulk of the surviving Night Reapers at the Puron Cross, a massive pre-human space wreckage large enough to have developed its own thin atmosphere and parasitic life over the Long Ages. Here, the Night Reapers were tunneling into the ancient artificial core of the wreck, kilometers deep, in search of a weapon that they believed would be sufficient to rid themselves of the Imperial forces who now encircled and besieged them. Events as they transpired at the bitter point of the siege remain shrouded in confusion, but what is known is that at the height of the Minotaur's attack, the Grey Knight strike cruiser Echinos Blade and a force of Grey Knights under the command of Brother Captain Denicus arrived in orbit around the Puron Cross. Entering the Fire Zone, they ordered the Imperial forces to concede to their authority and pull back from the assault. The Minotaurs, however, were not included to this course. The retreat of the Loyalist forces paved the way for Brother Captain Denicus of the Grey Knights to conduct a teleport assault into the depths of the Peron Cross as the battle raged on. What then transpired remains unknown, but sometime shortly afterwards, the Peron's cross structure broke into burning fragments, riven by a series of gigantic level explosions. The demise of Peron Cross led to the complete loss of the Grey Knights and a substantial but undefined number of Minotaur Space Marines, along with heavy damage to the Equinox Blade and the death of all those left on board. Asterion Moloch, the stern chapter master of the Minotaurs, is known to have survived the incident as he was once again witness commanding his chapter in battle some months later, while the Grey Knight's Lord of Titan and the Ordo Malleus have remained curiously silent over their losses. As for the Night Reaper's chapter, it is believed that the fiery death of Peron Cross served as the funeral pyre for their once loyal chapter. Whatever profane secrets surround them are believed to have been buried there as well. And those were 40 facts about the Minotaurs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, comment down below and let me know what other type of video you guys would like to see. Uh, don't forget to put suggestion followed by whatever topic you guys would like us to create. Uh, if you could, please tell me what first founding chapter you guys would like to know about. Even if it's a chapter that we've already done lore on, please make the suggestion. Um, the reason for that is that we, I mean, we're not done with any of the first founding chapters, so we can do way more lore on first founding chapters. So Dark Angels, Imperial Fist, uh, e even Traitor, um, 
first founding chapters so if you want us to go back and do a little bit more on the night lords go for it comment down below we need your help to uh let us know what kind of videos you guys want especially for for space marines um but of course this isn't the end for the minotaurs there's still a whole nother video uh for us to put out um with more lore on the minotaurs it's probably probably going to be more less notable campaigns so smaller campaigns but it's really interesting because you're going to get to learn more about the minotaurs and you can get that by subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit the notification button, I heard that notification button is really good for channels, so please click that if you can. Uh, all it's going to do is it's going to notify you whenever we upload a video. But if you are a true fan, you know that um, we put out videos, two videos every single night for you guys. 12, 12, p no, 12 a.m. Eastern. Nope. Central Standard Time. There you go. Um, but again, guys, thank you, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and sharing our videos. Because of you, we've been able to grow our channel to the size that it is. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers, which means we're almost at an awesome giveaway. I'm really excited to give that to you guys. Uh, I already know what it is, and you can find out by helping us out and sharing this video so we can spread the, the word on One Mind Syndicate. Um, but again, guys... Thank you for everything, and this was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate, signing out.